Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we had to dig around a little bit in Kellogg's memories to find out how to get into the Institute, and apparently we found more questions than answers, mainly how do we get onto this little teleportation relay thing, whatever they're using. Seems rather Star Trek-y, so I'm going with Relay here, and get into the Institute. We don't know. We're going to have to find out from apparently an escaped Institute scientist, which is rather unheard of, and who apparently decided to go to the Glowing Sea, which is radioactive as shit. So, with that on mind, let's talk to Nikki, who helped us out in that endeavor, and is apparently just sitting there. Right after all of that went on. Nick, hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Um. You want to try for round two? Let's go. What? What are you talking about? Uh. Wait. Duh. Were you just playing a joke on me? I guess that's for you to wonder and for me and Kellogg's memories to know for sure. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Are you right, sure you feel fine? To Diamond City, since you've got company already. Because apparently you have things still going on in your head. So, uh... You know, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. We should head over uh, to the Nakano residence when we can. Find out what their case is about. Oh, and yeah, now he's talking about the uh, DLC thing. Okay, well, we're just going to keep Kate with us for the time being. Apparently, my beer wore off, so now I'm just going to have to really slowly strut right now. Okay, that I can't apparently do. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to use the good stuff, but at the same time, I don't want to use... Ah, uh, fuck it. Great. Do I have an addictol? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. We're good. Gotta drop all my junk at <laughs> Sanctuary. Jeez. Also, another thing I need to do is eventually show off all the mods I've downloaded so we can give the people the proper credit. Eh? Uh, I might do that this episode. It's episode 70. Why not? Yeah. I just numbered this <laughs> recording session now. Okay. Get this going. There we go. Um. Okay. Rowski. Okay. What's this about? Yeah. Freaks gotta stick together. And the best way to stick together is to keep an eye out for what drives us apart. You feel me? Yeah, you tell it like it is, Hancock. Now, what out there in our big friendly commonwealth would want to drive us apart? What kind of twisted unneighborly boogeyman would want to hurt our peaceful community? The Institute and their sins. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some gems. The okay, then. <laughs> They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Uh, I don't know, Hancock. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Hey, we all know I got my own personal beef with that hardhead. But stay focused. Now, okay. Everyone to keep the Institute in mind. When someone starts acting funny. When people are doing things they don't normally do family starts pushing you away for no reason we all know who's behind that kind of shit and the only way to stop it is to stick together they can't control us if we're not afraid now who's scared of the institute not us at which town in the commonwealth should the institute not fuck with good neighbor. Good neighbor. and who's in charge of good neighbor Hancock of the people for the people all right, that seemed rather weird, and now everyone has their guns up. That, 
the hell? What the hell is all that about? Just, I guess, regular rallying sort of thing. Okay, well, that was weird enough, but I guess that's fine. Alright. <laughs> that was a little jarring. Didn't expect that. Okay, now that that's all done and over with, now I can just head back home and kick back a little bit. At least for a little bit. Especially because figuring out how to get into the Institute is going to take a while, that's for sure. I don't remember seeing this guy. Hmm. At least I don't remember where he is. Hmm. Alright. Whatever, I'm gonna drink my coffee while it's looting. Alright. I expected it to be done loading by now. <laughs> and right now it's deciding no. Okay, now we're good. Alright. That should do it. I'll need to do another load. Wait, enemies are nearby. What? What enemies are nearby? What the? What in the? What in the fuck? Where is that coming from? Also, who is fighting? That's the better question. Uh, it sounds like over here. These guys again? Alright, well. Are ya? Well, eventually so will I. Once I get down there. There we go. Oh, geez. Okay, uh... There's the alpha mongrel. Jeez, the frame rate's starting to die on me here. Come on, die. Die already. There we go. That explosive damage does help. Alright, that it? That seems to be it. Just mongrels fighting with raiders. That's weird, but okay. I guess that was what the whole problem was. Uh, this guy's gone. Or girl. Sorry. Didn't quite look. Uh, primer, bullets. All the good stuff, really. Okay. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything in this general area here. I, I was making sure I reloaded, but then I hit it right on the cooking station. So they're like, no, you wanted to interact with the cooking station. I know. I was, I was able to tell. It's like, no, you weren't. Okay. Doesn't look like I missed anything major, so why is my it's only there, and then when I turn around it completely disappears. It's weird. That's really odd. Then again, it is a big ass gun. Anyway. Uh fuck it. Oh, pff, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. God damn it. Let's go back to sanctuary. Can I do that? Yes, I can. It's not telling me I can't, so I'm going to assume I can. Alright. Yeah, this recording session will be cut short, and maybe this episode as well. I just wanted to show off the uh, mods I currently have uh, installed, because I figured, you know what, some of them deserve a showcase. Uh... Yeah, that was about it. <laughs> and right after that, we'll deal with some of the other quests we need to do. But for right now, I have no better ideas. Okay, back home we are. Oh, and I am overburdened as shit. Okay. Uh, store all junk. There we go. Oh. It, pull <laughs> it puts all of that into junk. That's, uh... Not what I expected. I should have expected it. But I didn't. Oh well. Um, I think I can scrap that. Yep, I can. I can't scrap that. That's unfortunate, but oh well. Uh, I need more leather anyway for... Whoops, I meant to modify. Because I want to eventually get deep pocketed for all of these. But that requires a lot of leather. A lot of leather that I don't necessarily have right now. So, that'll eventually have to be done. 
Um, oh, I can upgrade it to polymer. I didn't know that. I didn't realize I had gotten that far yet. That's good, at least. All right. Now, that was one of the mods that I have shown a couple times before, apparently. Uh, haven't really gone into it ever, because it's not really my fault on that. I It's a little more involved, and I'm never really able to spend time on it, because I'm rarely playing the game nowadays, except for, uh, well, I mean, playing this. <laughs> anyway, Ballistic Rounds. Uh, it doesn't... What? So I need to pull him back out. That... That's shenanigans. Okay, Oberlin Station is in trouble. I'll eventually have to do that. But apparent... Ah, damn it. <laughs> I am fucking up every button. Apparently, even if I put it into the workshop inventory, it won't show up there. That's weird. I'll have to mention that to them. But yeah, I'm going to grab all of this because I need all of this. There we go. And that does most of it, I think. Let me double check. Anyway, it goes through junk because it's a little faster that way. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like I missed anything, but let's look in the gunpowder. Uh, yep, had some here. All right. Uh, what else was there? Don't think there was much else. Okay, well, I think I got everything. Yeah, there we go. Can do ballistic rounds. Oh, I just can't do... What? I just don't have enough to make? Is that what the problem is? Huh. I guess that must be what it is. I could have sworn I had enough to at least do these. Uh, yeah. I don't have the casings? Okay. I guess I'm not... <laughs> I guess I don't have all the parts, even though I thought I did. Wait, what parts do I have? Because I know I have to at least be able to make some of these. None. Don't have any 762s. I only have the bullets for the 5 mil. Uh, okay. I guess I was wrong. Alright then. Fine. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> yep, my throat's starting to die on me. Give me a second to drink my coffee and try to fix that. This doesn't introduce any specialized ammunition. It's pretty much all of it in the base game and the DLCs, but you can make the ammo now, is what it basically gives you the option to do. Instead of having to just buy it constantly off of vendors, you can make it yourself if you have the parts, and they are scattered pretty much everywhere in the world, so you will eventually find the parts. So, I just, I guess I haven't found enough of everything yet even though i have the capability to okay and the rest of the mods are here i don't think all of them are loaded into this file it, it, yeah it looks like it's only showing the ones that i have nope it does it does all of them okay so the unofficial fallout patch number one it helps <laughs> get everything rolling which was kind of broken when the game came out uh, change power armor interface, that's what makes the power armor, uh, little display green for me. And that was a recent addition, and eventually we will be just running power armor for the glowing sea, so I figured I'd touch on that. And this one allows me to get dog meat as an extra companion, along with Kate, because it was... A lot of there was a lot of evidence that he wasn't a true just singular companion he was supposed to be uh as more of a staple of sorts and then they just made him a companion but the files are still there that made him a secondary or uh 
canine pal on top of your companion. So all it does is just reactivate those files. Uh, that one's me being uh, weeaboo, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase. Um, this one is, that's the most easiest thing you can see. Honestly, whenever I'm going into the Pip-Boy, that's a new skin for that because I figured, yeah, it's pretty decent. It looked good, I thought. Um, unlocks Ballistic Weave, which usually you'd have to go through the entirety of the railroad quest line to be able to get that ability. But I just had it unlocked from the get-go, which is why I have an armored set of uh, plain clothes that I can just throw on should I want to. I don't want to yet. It's just, it's just there for me if I want to eventually. Uh, maybe if I get Ballistic Wii 5, which I have to get the highest perk of armor to be able to do, then I'll probably go with that <laughs> instead of the combat armor because the Ballistic Weave is actually stronger than the combat armor uh, at its heaviest, if I recall correctly. Anyway, this one is a companion mod. Uh, well, when I installed it, it was mainly a companion mod. Uh, it also unlocks a couple hairstyles for use in the character creator as well as the um, yeah, hairstylist in Diamond City. And I think there's a couple other hairstylists, but I'm not quite sure. But mainly I downloaded this as a companion for the Loving Kate mod, which is way further down. I'll eventually get to that. There's a full dialogue interface, as we've showcased for a while. Uh, protected unique NPCs, that's a new one. Makes uh, all the NPCs that are cool and unique just unable to be killed, which was a good thing, because I realized on my file that Deezer, who we haven't met yet, but we will meet, uh, ended up dying constantly in a raider attack, and I wanted to stop that from happening because I think he's cool. So I just kept that in and that managed to keep him around. Okay, improved and rechargeable stealth boys. I haven't interacted with this all that much, mainly because I don't interact with stealth boys all that much. It just gives it so I can recharge stealth boys after I use them. Uh, holstered weapons, we've been showcasing that, showcasing, showcasing that for a while, mainly on the backpacks because those actually help your carry weight. Uh, alien blaster chrome retexture, that one was a thing I showed when I grabbed the alien blaster. <laughs> More realistic pipe weapon texture, that's the thing that Kate's been showcasing a little bit. Uh, that's the current um, cult that I've been running on my character because it's a stronger one than one I downloaded later which was not as strong and eh, I didn't really like the look of it all that much at least the second one this one I like the look of all right and there's the uh, DLC ammo level list which allows the uh, Far Harbor and Nuka World DLC ammo to be able to spawn into the regular Commonwealth area there's the Walther P99 which Again, I will be showcasing soon once I have outlived the usefulness of the uh, explosive 10mm, which won't be anytime soon. Uh, this I tried on my own. Uh, it's not applied right now because I f just found the broken reload animation a little jarring. It was a little too jarring for me because it ends up having the when it's in the middle of the reload, the clip goes on into the side instead of where it's supposed to go, and then it flips in. And that's a little too jarringly broken for me, so I just left that one alone. I, I was annoyed because I was really excited for that one, and it just didn't end up working out. It's so whatever. That one, the HK-45... I have not managed to get this gun yet. I had only just downloaded it recently and pushed it up in the same area as most of my uh, additional weapons uh, mods, but I have not been able to get this yet. I can apparently acquire it by killing and looting gunners. There was an HK-45, yeah, the USB-45 that I had downloaded earlier 
This one I didn't like as much because the texture seemed a little off to me. It was, I don't know what it was. I'm hoping this one looks better. I mean, it's based off the same, uh, it's based off the same model that apparently Wretched 89 came up with. So I don't know, maybe it's better. I'm hoping so because this one just looked too blocky and shiny and it didn't, it didn't work for me. And this is the other one I was talking about, the uh, Colt 1911, the other one that didn't look as good. It looked like it was directly ripped from Fallout New Vegas, which while not too bad at the same time, it had a lot of that, for lack of a better phrase, icky texture to it. Uh, it wasn't necessarily bad, but it wasn't great. Not as great as the one I currently run right now. And the Modular Kalash, that's one I'll eventually be getting into because that one's reload animation actually works. That one's, uh, it's a, a pretty damn good weapon in and of itself. And it allows me to use the ammunition that I have around because why not? And apparently it also allows me to change how the uh, gun will operate. So, hey, why not? And this one allows me to use a 7.62 for the Kalashnikov because that's the actual round it uses in real life. So I figured, you know what, why not give it the stronger one? But at the same time, it kind of limits me until I get into Nuka World because then I can't find it more. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More easily? That, I guess that's close enough. Anyway. And then the Ace of Spades, another one I haven't gotten yet, but it's at Abernathy Farm, so I can pick it up fairly soon. Uh, probably will after this. And then this uh, reduces the distance at which NPCs will talk to me because I would have everyone decide they wanted to talk at me when I wasn't close enough for the <laughs> them to actually justify it. So this just makes it easier so I don't have to listen to them you know bullshit anyway that's the ammo maker which i've just shown that's the mama murphy fix for the face which i haven't really talked to her since i installed this i probably should and this helps make a uh, power armor more durable and realistic but it also ups the repair costs quite a bit so that's one of the reasons why eventually we will forego the armor and just be running power armor because this makes it very strong, very useful, but also very, very cost heavy. So later on when we have accumulated enough materials to fix it, should it break, then we'll be able to do that. And this one's just to allow the Automatron DLC version. Uh, there's a couple new ones I think were added with that i think i don't right recall and there's loving kate right there that's the last one in the whole thing and that's what make kate the beauty that she is look at her just sitting there by the fire all right uh we'll eventually head to abernathy farm to grab that ace of spades gun because it ups the damage and it's a it's a unique weapon that has far better damage than the old one which i've still kept over here but uh Eventually, I'll pick that up. I'm not entirely sure when. Yeah, this one. This one's damage is like 13 for the base. And for the Ace of Spades, I believe it puts it at 36. Uh, I just had the thing up. You could probably see it if you go back and pause it. But I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Because holy shit, there's a lot of stuff I need to do. And I need to get moving as soon as possible. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. My headset decided to break. <laughs> God damn it. And I threw myself off the metro. God damn it. All right. <laughs> Let's just try it over again. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in the comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and... You know, showing off mods because I've never really showcased all the mods I have for you. <laughs>